This is a customized version of Scaffold ETH2, which is a toolkit for creating decentralized applications. It makes it easier for creating and deploying smart contracts and also provides a front end or a graphical user interface to interact with those smart contracts. So the first step here would be to clone the repo. And once the repo is cloned, let's go to the repository and then do yarn install. Once all the packages are installed, let's open it in the core editor. In the core editor, go to packages, hard hat, then environment variable file. Rename this to just dot env and also go to the environment variable file in the next.js folder rename that file as well now we need a quick node endpoint url to interact with the blockchain and deploy our smart contracts so we will be using a ethereum sepolia endpoint url so replace this part with your endpoint url and the same with the environment variable file in the hard hat folder as well. And after that, this will be replaced with your private key. Save all the files and then go to next.js directory, locate the scaffold.config.ts file. And then on line 14 in the target network variable, change the value of Goerli to whatever network you want to use. I'm using Sepolia network. So I'm replacing Goerli with Sepolia. Now open the terminal again. Deploy the smart contract using the quick node network. All right, so our smart contract is deployed. This is the transaction hash and the smart contract is deployed on this address. So now let's start the app. Scaffold link app and the app is running on localhost 3000. So let's go to our browser, open the app. All right, so this is how the app looks like. Over here, you have your wallet. You can disconnect and connect to another wallet as well. Then you will find your deployed contracts in debug contracts section where you can read and write from and to your smart contracts and uh, yeah this is how you can use this app thanks